What's going on guys? I'm Heck with Gun Talk and as you saw in the description, uh, today I'm going to be doing my own review on the XR920. firearm is safe and unloaded and then also the uh, magazine that I'll be inserting is also safe and unloaded all right um, also I'm not promoting the sale of any firearm just simply sharing uh, my review of this firearm with you um, and without further ado let's get right into it um, so shadow systems is uh, one of the newer companies in the market I think they've been around from since 2019 um, maybe a little bit Let's, let's maybe do your own research and find out exactly how long they've been around. But I do remember that they used to just do like uh, parts for like the Glocks and upgrades and stuff like that. And then they finally branched out and did their own firearm platform. So um, they do have different models. This one in particular is the XR920, um, which uh, I did a ton of research before I purchased this firearm. Uh, they have different models and also they have different variations of what the models look like. Um, so I'll explain kind of what this one is, um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, this one is the XR920 Elite. Um, they have two different types. It could be either a combat or an Elite. Um, the Elite uh, basically gives you top serrations on the slide, side serrations on the slide. Uh, it also gives you slide cuts. Um, also gives you a uh, threaded barrel as well, and it's also a fluted barrel. Um, and so that's what makes this one the elite. It also has like different kind of, you know, engravings on the, uh, on the slide. Just makes it very, very buttery, very light. Um, they have the combat one, which just takes away like the top serrations. Um, and then also it doesn't have any slide cuts on the side as well. Um, and that's pretty much the, the difference. So definitely do your research because there is uh, quite a few variations and stuff. I did about two to three weeks of research on this before I finally uh, purchased it um, because I wanted to make sure that, you know, this is the firearm that I have intentions on using for, you know, my first competition firearm. Um, and um, the price range is a little bit more expensive than the Glock, but then you're also having, you know, a lot of things already done to it. Now, granted, the sight did not come with it, the light did not come with it, this trigger didn't come with it either. So we're gonna talk about all of, this, uh, all of these add-ons in a second but I just wanted to kind of show you um, just what it looks like first, okay? So there you go there. All right, so first things first, um, it does have a magwell that it came with, so it did bring its very own magwell in the packaging. Um, I have it on here already added. It's like a flared magwell. You could always take it off if you want your traditional grip look um, into it. Uh, we'll talk about the couple of things that I already added. So I did put on top, it already comes with a slide cut for uh, optics on the uh, Elite. So I went ahead and put a, um, what can I remember? A 507C on top. So I went ahead and grabbed a uh, Hollow Sun 507C. And that's what you see on top. This is the X2 series, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, it is uh, solar powered. So it does have like the solar um, well, window on the top. And then um, it's pretty cool because it reads, you know, how bright it is. So depending on how much brightness, it could kind of detect if you're indoors or outdoors. And then it automatically adjusts the brightness of the reticle, uh, depending on, you know, where you're at. Um, also, I got the TLR 1HL. A lot of you guys are already familiar with it. It's from a company called Streamlight. Um, it's got a thousand lumens. Um, it does have the strobe effect as well, which is pretty cool. My battery is actually dying on it because I use it so much. Um, so I have to, um, I have to just put new batteries in it. And then I also upgraded, um, the trigger. So I went ahead and put a Timney trigger on here. Uh, Timney has been a company that's been around for 75 years plus. Um, it is a three pound trigger, uh, phenomenal for competition firearms, uh, very light to the touch. Um, and so, yeah, that's on there as well. It changes the mechanism of the interior of the firearm. So instead of having, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but instead of having like a spring effect on the uh, trigger, like the one that it came with. Um, it gives you like a wall-to-wall -wall, um, action uh, on it, so. And then that's what, uh, that's what that looks like there. Hopefully a little bit of lighting there can help you see. And then it also has that red uh, safety uh, trigger on there as well, okay? And then that is, uh, that's pretty much the add-ons that I've done to it. 
Um, now let's just talk about the packaging and what it came with, okay? Um, first things first, it did come with two magazines. These are Magpul magazines. Um, I went on my own and bought some ETS mags and some Glock magazines to use as well. Um, it is compatible with Glock magazines. Uh, it's actually compatible with a lot of Glock things. So the XR920 in particular um, is a model that they have that gives you a Glock 19 slide with a Glock 17 frame. Uh, so you can use any Glock 19 holster with this firearm, which is pretty cool because Glock is universal, it's been around for a long time. And so you can kind of use their platform to buy accessories, buy holsters um, and add-ons that you can do as well. So for example, this Timney trigger was not made for the shadow systems. It was actually made for a Glock Gen 3 uh, to Gen 4. So, and it fits perfectly fine. I've put about 2000 plus rounds through this trigger, have not had any issues. Now I will say this because I contacted shadow systems to check on the compatibility of this trigger. And they did say that once you put this trigger on here, it voids the warranty. So keep in mind, if you're gonna put that add-on on there and something malfunctions down the road, um, it will not be a warranty firearm, okay? Which uh, brings me to one of my points about why I love this firearm so much, aside from how it functions and everything on it. Um, Shadow Systems actually has a policy to where if you were to use this firearm in a case of self-defense, um, and it was deemed, you know, um, you know, correct to use it, and um, you know, you were pretty much in the right for defending yourself and everything. And uh, the police were to possess the firearm, they will then uh, replace it. So Shadow Systems will send you a brand new firearm if, for whatever reason, you have to use this firearm in the case of self-defense, and you were in the right, um, you know, pulling it, protecting yourself. And if it got confiscated they will then send you a brand new one. And that's actually in the manual, which I thought was pretty awesome. Um, so when I was doing my research, I ran into that and I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Um, a couple other things that I do like about this firearm as well, the serrations on the front here are very rough coming back. And I don't mean rough like, you know, to where you're gonna cut yourself, but they're harder uh, coming to the rear, um, but smooth coming towards the front. So it makes it to where like when you're uh, going to, you know, um, cock the firearm back, it makes it to where like you have that firm, nice and rough grip. But then, you know, when you're doing the function of coming out of a holster, it's nice and smooth. So you can just take it right out of the holster. So I just thought the technology and the thought process behind that right there, just, you know, it, it's and one of the selling points for me was the attention to detail that these guys are paying attention to that a lot of other companies don't think about, you know, they're like, they're really thinking these guys are <laughs> up and coming. These guys are definitely uh, doing all the right things. So I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. And I thought that I should mention um, that as well. Again, back to uh, what the firearm comes with. Great. Um, it comes with the, with the two magazines, as I mentioned. And then if you want some, it does come with uh, Glock compatible magazines. So you can you know go out and purchase ETS. ETS mags will fit it. Uh, Glock magazines will fit it. Um, uh, Pro Mac drums will fit it. Um, and pretty much any Glock compatible magazine will 19 or will 17, any Glock 17 magazine uh, will, will fit that as well. Um, aside from that, it did, it did come with its uh, little lock. It came in this big old box um, and it had a, a bag that came with it as well, which I'll open here in a second, but it did come with one of the locks. Um, these are the first uh, five rounds that I shot through it. I always like to, uh, and this is something that maybe you guys should be doing as well, but I always like to keep, um, the first couple of rounds that I shoot through it because I look at the rounds and I want to make sure that that firing pin is hitting dead center of the striking pin uh, or the striking um, uh, whatever thing in the middle of the casing. So I just always like to make sure that it's hidden dead on, which it did. And so, you know, that way you know that there's no problems with, uh, with, the, with the firing pin. Um, it does come with a slide uh, protector as well. Um, so you can put that in there and then, um, it has its own little manual and stuff. Obviously it came with its own trigger. Uh, it came with the gun oil, extreme duty gun oil. Also gives you a couple of different grips. Um, they have like, I don't remember off the top of my head. I know that I have the 1911 version of the grip on myself in the back, but it does have two other options depending on how you like to um, have your point of aim. Um, so they designed the rear grips to kind of help you adjust depending on how you like your firearm, whether it be a little bit higher or lower. Um, and that's one of the things that they focused on when they made those was point of aim rather than actual like grip. So depending on how the grip feels is whether you're gonna be shooting a little higher or a little bit lower. So if you're like a Glock guy or a 1911 guy, you could kind of move around 
you know what you're used to and what you like so again attention to detail phenomenal um, it came with a little shadow system sticker that I completely forgot was in there so now I'm gonna use it because I just went in here looking for this stuff to make this video and I came across it so fire so I'm pretty excited about that and then um, I think that's pretty much it let me open up the back to show you what the interior of the back looks like um, just has a slight little compartment here that you open um, and then this is where you would put the firearm so that slides on there and then um, it also comes with uh, five velcro uh, not velcro but five kind of slots for you to put magazines in so whenever I go to the range I fill all five up like so and then I close it and then you're pretty much good to go so that's your XR920 in the bag, so that's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool as well. Um, so yeah, guys, um, a couple of you guys have been asking me a lot of questions. Um, somebody reached out from Sweden today um, and asked me about the, uh, the XR920, you know, if, if it's better than the Glock. I can't really sit here and say that it's better than the Glock. I can tell you that I have a more pleasant shooting experience with it than the Glock. It's a lot smoother. Um, I do have some shorts. I'm pretty sure my very first short on YouTube, the first short video I've ever made on YouTube is a mag dump with this, where I mean, you could just see it. It's just bum, 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 bum. I mean, it is buttery. Um, as you shoot it, the more you shoot it, the spring becomes a little bit more, I don't wanna say loose because it's still perfect, um, but it does kind of loosens it up a little bit to where like, I mean, it's just, it's just smooth like butter, you know, so where like as the Glock is a little bit, you know, blockier and a little bit heavier um, as far as it going to the rear. Um, but man, shooting this, and don't get me wrong, I have a three pound trigger on the uh, XR920, and I also have a three pound trigger on my Glock, and I just enjoy shooting the crap out of this a lot more. So um, I do enjoy my Glock as well, so don't get me wrong, but I just, you know, somebody asked and, and you know, I had to keep it real with them for sure. This is a, an awesome firearm. Um, again, I have all intentions of using this as my first competition firearm. Um, the price point ranges anywhere from like $600 to $1,200, depending on which model you get. Um, they have a DR920 where it's a longer uh, slide um, and also a long frame. They have a more compact version all the way to like a very concealed one, which is a CR920. They have a, uh, an MR920. So it just depends on which one you like. So definitely do your research. Um, but I definitely wanted to do my own review on the firearm, just kind of show you what I've done to mine personally. Um, if you have any questions on it, please feel free to leave a comment um, and let me know. And then that way, you know, I can help you guys out with any questions that you may have, okay? Um, and if I didn't mention this already, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to you guys. Anybody that came over to the uh, Instagram page, uh, we finally have a thousand people on there. So um, I will be doing a giveaway this weekend. So be on the lookout. If you want to be a part of that, make sure you check out www.instagram.com forward slash gun period talk underscore just like the name of the uh, YouTube channel. So go out there, uh, hit your boy up with a follow. Um, if you like the content that I'm putting out, make sure you hit a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.